Hello and welcome to Access Sportsnet Lakers, driven by your Southern California Honda dealers. I'm Chris McGee. We got Robert Ory, James Worthy, Mike Bresnan, Ali Clifton's going to join us in a little bit. We got Trudell handling the postgame duties. The Lakers get an easy one on Halloween night for the first time this season. They're over 500 at four and three. Kind of built up a 28 point lead, fellas, and kind of cruised from there. Maybe for the fourth quarter. Defense has slipped a little bit, Rob, but outside of that, it was, it was a dominant performance. Yeah, the second half was a really a, a cruise because, like the game of basketball, was a game of spurts, and the Rockets were surged back. But, but very fortunate for the Lakers, they would fight off that and surge back. You know, it was really close there for a second, and I was sitting there saying, oh, no, not another uh, OKC thing. But mm -hmm. fortunately, you know, Vogel made some good timeouts decisions. They got refocused. They came back and put the pedal to the metal more. Yeah, I think they definitely remember the, uh, the the OKC game, and I think they didn't want that to happen again. But I think overall, from the beginning, I think they're starting to connect defensively and know what their number one priority is, is on the defensive end. Um, Carmella, I mean, he's, he plays well at home, doesn't he? Uh, shooting the ball well, getting in the right spots, understanding where he's supposed to be. And I just think, you know, they're starting to, to play like they're supposed to be playing. I know the Rockings aren't, you know, one of the elite teams, but, you know, they need to practice against anybody other than themselves. And I think they're, you know, hopefully shaping up on that end. Yeah, two words, uh, definitely, lesson learned, okay, based on what happened last week. They were up 26 in OKC. We all know what happened there. Today they're up 24. And ideally, you know, they, they stay there. And LeBron doesn't have to play the fourth quarter or AD or Russ. You know, they, they face these guys again in two days. Maybe that's where you shoot for then, you know, maintain that 24-point lead. Bottom line, they still won the game. And, and Carmelo... I don't know what's more impressive, the five threes or the four blocked shots. Probably, probably the blocked shots. Because, the blocks. Yeah, he's not known as a defensive-minded player. But a great game all around again for Carmelo Anthony. All right, let's go back to Staples. Carmelo Anthony is with Mike Trudell. All right, Carmelo, before we talk about the shooting, four blocks, two steals for you tonight. First time you've done that since your rookie year, actually, in a game against LeBron. Uh, what's going on with all the deflections, man? Man, I'm just trying to stick to the schemes and just honestly just do what I'm supposed to do on the, on the defensive end um, within our schemes, be there, be in position where I'm supposed to be at. Uh, and just, you know, I'm getting, I'm starting to get more, more used to uh, just what we're trying to do in our schemes and where I'm at on the court, defensively more so than offensively. So today was one of those games we just, you know, we was doing it in, in, in a great fashion. Um, I, I think I did a great job of just being in position, being in spots. And I just want to build on that. We want to build on that defensively. I know you're staying in the moment, but you think about that 2003, like your rookie year, that was a long time ago, right? You even remember that game against LeBron? Uh, no. You, you won. You won that one. There's a lot of games in between that. If that was the first game we played, then yeah, I, I remember that game. All right, fair enough. So uh, the shooting form, uh, Melo, just where are you getting your looks? How comfortable are you? Uh, what, are, what are the keys to you uh, having that quick catch and shoot motion? Just, I'm just working on it. I stay in the gym. It's something that I've, I've always worked on. Um, you know, I'm, 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 it's easy for me to adapt to what's going on. Um, I'm, with, I'm the willingness of, of, of adapting. Um, and again, I said it earlier, um, you know, in the season, but the passion, the passion to want to be better, to want to be in the gym every day, getting better, uh, learning what I need to do. Uh, again, this is, new for, this is new for all of us playing with each other. So the more reps that I can get, you know, I, I just got to stay sharp when my number is called because it's a long season, but I, I got to keep doing what I'm doing. Final thing for you, what do you think of the starting lineup with AD at the five? I know you guys have run through some of those groupings in practice. I like it. It's something that we're looking at, something that, you know, throughout the course of the game we've seen more of it. Uh, we started with that today, so ain't no telling with Frank. We don't we don't know what's going to happen. We just got to be ready for whatever we do. All right, man. Happy Halloween. Thank you. Same to you. All right, how about this? Carmelo Anthony, 25 minutes, 23 points, 8 of 14, 5 of 8 from Beacon of earlier. One of the more surprising stats, four blocks. And you heard Melo talking to Mike Trudell about that. Guys, check this out. He was five of eight from three. I know you guys talked about this in the pregame show. His 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 home and in, in away splits are, are, are insane. He's 23 <laughs> of 34, big game James, from three at Staples Center. No wonder why the crowd loves him. Yeah, they love him. You know, less travel. You don't have to get on that airplane. Older veteran. No, I, I think, you know, just experience of knowing how to bounce back from a, a, a subpar game that he didn't like. And also, like he said, getting used to, you know, understanding the tendencies. Tonight was, was, was an exceptional play of, he said, it, getting to his spots, not rushing in, being patient, being in the right spot, 
when LeBron, Westbrook, anybody's going downtown, he has some really nice shots. So I expect this of him most of the season. A veteran player, they know how to bounce around pretty good. And for me, when, when I watch Carmelo play, I always want to watch that first shot because he's such a guy, when he sees that first shot go down, mm -hmm. that means he's hot. Yeah. And if he shoots a great shot, that's what you want to see. And that first shot he took was no one near him. So it was an easy shot. He saw it go down, and I said, uh-oh, that's all he needs to keep, keep going and going. He's like a microwave, so he's hot. When he's, when he's hot, he's one of the best shooters in the game. Yeah, so on the second day of free agency, the Lakers signed four players. Three young guys, you know, they, they agreed to terms with THT. Uh, they got Malik Monk, and they got Kendrick Nunn, and they also got Carmelo. Had, had you told me that Carmelo, of those four, would be the most impactful this quickly in the season, I would have said, you're out of your mind. Obviously, THT and none, a non-factor right now. They're not playing. But picking up Carmelo and seeing him do even more than he did in Portland. You know, he got his 14, 15 points a game up there. He's getting like 20 every other game down here. Just, just a great, great start for him in a Laker uni. It's interesting when, when, you know, Rob, we always joke about how you said that one night. Uh, listen, it, there's a big four. It's not just a big three. Um, and when, when he has nights like this, and he's had them now a few times, it takes a lot of pressure off of... LeBron and AD and Russ to kind of have to come up with all the offense, big game James. And it's nice to have that ball moving and, and find someone else like a Carmelo Anthony. Well, it's just like when LeBron is out, now we have Westbrook who can handle that, the rock, and, and run the team. Carmelo is another one of those veteran players that when called upon, if, if a player's out or say if a player's in foul trouble, he can step up. He's done it just about everywhere he's gone. And he, you know, exemplified that tonight by knocking down some more threes, defense. I think the more minutes he gets out there, he can be one of those guys that if somebody's not around or somebody's injured or we need some quick buckets, he's a go-to guy. He's, he can probably start on a lot of teams in this league. And coming off this bench and be able to sit back and watch how the Lakers play, because sometimes the Lakers will play fast, sometimes they play slow. I think Carmelo is a, is a seasoned vet where he can sit and say, okay, this is what I need to do when I come in the game. And that's what I like about him coming off the bench. He's a very intelligent player. We don't talk about that enough. He can watch and analyze the game, say, okay, this is where I can get my shots. This is where I can help the team out. But I think he said it best. He's learning the defensive scheme a lot better. If you watch his rotations tonight, he was getting a foot in the lane. He was getting mm -hmm. back. He was being active. And that's what I wanted to say, because we know what he can do offensively, but what can you do defensively? I know the Rockets aren't a great team, but defensively tonight, the Lakers looked a lot sharper than they have the last couple games in terms of their rotations and, and their schemes. You heard Melo tell that to Mike Trudell. They turned the Rockets over 27 times for 32 points. That's a season high. Uh, also a season high in steals with 15 breaths. Yeah, really impressive on the perimeter. Uh, Avery Bradley, you know, a lot to do with that. Russ had a really nice game defensively, too. He was at uh, plus 26 the last I checked. Uh, you got to give these guys credit. I mean, this is a very young, uh, talented, but erratic Houston backcourt. Jalen Green, uh, two of seven tonight. I mean, you know, the Lakers really clamped down on him. He had 30 the other night. Um, Porter, again, you know, can, can get a little crazy sometimes on the court there, but the Lakers kind of bottled him up. Those two guys combined, eight for 20. You know, that, that's good defense by the Lakers, period, no matter how young uh, or old the backcourt might be that they're going up against. Rob, how much did you, you think it, it, it had to do with that starting lineup as well? A little more uh, attention to, to defense on the perimeter. You look at an Avery Bradley, you look at Baysmore kind of setting that tone. LeBron, Russ, and AD all kind of came out with that focus tonight. Yeah, if you look at what the Lake, I mean, what the Rockets put out there, it was a smaller lineup. Mm -hmm. It was a more active lineup. It was a lineup more conducive to the Lakers going. Uh, well, I want to say small because LeBron is still a big in my eyes. <laughs> but, you know, going small and they putting 80 at the five. And the perimeter defense was nice, man. And I see why the Lakers welcome Avery Bradley back with open arms because when he was pressuring Jalen Green, he was like, okay, yeah. rookie, let me show you what the NBA is about. about. He turned the ball over. He was able to start to – and that's the thing that, that, that Avery Bradley – he can cause a lot of conflict on the outside when he plays his defense because when you have a guy like that, Playing that defense, that aggressive, it forces those guys to drive. And what you're going to do, you're going to drive mm -hmm. them to the shot blockers back there. So it's going to make it a lot easier for the guys to funnel guys like that when Avery Bradley is up in the grill like that, forced them to the baseline or to the sideline. No question. Uh, you know, Avery Bradley, you know, when none comes back, when Tucker comes back with his, you know, with his Wayne span, they're going to have some guards that can really create havoc. And that's the one thing about, uh, you know, Coach Vogel, the, the, the beauty of that. 
is he has different scenarios he, he can throw at you. If one guy's not having a, a good defensive, you know, game, he can come off the bench with somebody else, with, with uh, Bradley or somebody that, that can defend and disrupt. So, yeah, there's a lot of guys that can get the, 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 the job done. Reeves is another guy that can come in, very disruptive on the defensive end. So they got a lot of cards they can play depending on what the lineup is that, that worked for them. Yeah, keep in mind, Avery Bradley went through training camp and preseason with, with Golden State. He was cut by the Warriors towards the end of it. He's been with the Lakers for, what, 10 minutes, it feels yeah. like? He's already getting starting gigs, hitting big shots, and playing great defense. Yeah. All right, guys, well, let's get you to the highlights. we we'll take you out to Staples Center. Halloween night, Lakers and Rockets. Kind of home-and-home home set here. Want to wrestle Westbrook's.